The National Commandant Peace Corps, Dixon Ako, has stated the need for the society to be on a watch as to reduce insecurity in Nigeria with the aid of Peace Corps officers. This call was made during a church service in Abuja. Well, uh, we will redouble our resilience and our commitment to uh, the, the philosophical vision and mission behind the organization. Our, our major focus now, we have, had, we have done everything. We have established our formation everywhere, every part of the Federation and beyond Nigeria. So our target now is how to actualize our ultimate dream, which is ensuring that the beef and art to establish the Nigerian Peace Corps in order to give statutory backing to this organization is actualized. Because what is happening now, the vast majority of youth are unemployed and they are vulnerable for, to committing crime. When this is done and the vast majority of Nigerian youth that are unemployed are meaningfully engaged, the crime rate will de drastically re uh, reduce. Especially with one of the mandates that will be given to the Peace Corps as contained in the neighborhood watch. The society now, we need more vigilance. We need our officer to be at, on every street, monitoring whatever is happening across, across in every state and reporting same to government for government to be very, very reactive in responding to crime and criminality. Meanwhile, the Deputy Commandant Peace Corps, Badamosi Kabe, calls on the unity and love among citizens in the nation on a visit at Kado Estate Mosque in Abuja. He said that the purpose of the call is to develop youth and maintain peace and stability in the country. The general election is coming and we all know here in Nigeria that the general election doesn't come without violence. So and every year and year are we still keep preaching that peace. We try as much as possible since the youth is actually the, the leaders of tomorrow. If they act to um, toe in the line of peace, definitely everything is going to come uh, on, um, on, the, on the, the result is going to be wonderful. But if the youth are being used, because those are actually the machineries being used by the top politicians like that, or let me see, for example, the, the top persons who are actually trying to vie for a particular position. So if you see you're actually not going to win, your, your next result are the youth. And if you're able to get the youth that are vulnerable to violence, definitely they're going to cause chaos. Speaking similarly, representatives of Imam emphasized on the need to be in unity regardless of status, race, and tribe. Reporting from the nation's capital, Janet, a.k.a. TNTV Network.